What's up, y'all? It's me, Toria, Goddess, coming in with a quick message. Y'all know what I'm coming to do. I'm coming to bring the actual factuals, get you hip to what you already hip to, or hip you on to what may be hidden. Ain't nothing but love here, y'all. Welcome to my new subscribers. What's up to the ones who've been rocking with me out the gate? Y'all know. It's going to be some confirmation in this reading. If you like the reading and it resonates with your life circumstances, give it a thumbs up. You can give it a thumbs down, too. All gestures are appreciated because it's all love. All love. I keep hearing seven whole days. Not a word from you. Seven whole nights. Somebody been messing for a week or something about to come up in a week. Somebody about to crop up in your personal realm of being, as I say, y'all. We're going to see what the energy is, though. But I show up was here in seven days. So, I hope everybody is doing well. And we got new furniture. We got new furniture again. Somebody even got some new furniture. That's what's up. Bills paid. I bought you some new furniture. Living room set. TV. Five of Pinnacle situation. Material trouble. Penniless. A love who wasn't your own. Don't be wasteful with your resources. Doing so will cause you to be left in ruins. Doing so will cause you to be left in ruins. Five of Pentacles situation. You bought this living room furniture that you said in this TV. And you having some material trouble. You rubbing two pennies together. Then you got this love interest you're dealing with who is not a love of your own. The G's want you to keep your money tucked. Doing so will make sure that you are not left in the ruins. Scorpio. I could be talking to a Scorpio about a Scorpio. November Scorpio. At the bottom of my debt. Debt. What does that mean, y'all? Mother's side of the family. So somebody on your mother's side of the family. Hmm. Let's see what's going on. No weapons formed against us shall prosper. Y'all know I pray prior to even picking up these cards, making sure that everybody is protected, including myself. I want everybody to be up off of Shipwreck Road. And if you are on your destined road, I'm going to applaud you. I encourage everybody to tap into their God-given built-in GPS system. Intuition. Make sure that you are going with your first mind. Your first mind can never lead you wrong. You can feel it in the pit of your belly. That's spirit. That's spirit. So this new living room furniture. The Scorpio is a karmic. The Scorpio is a karmic on the mother side of your family. Hell. I heard they was wishing material troubles on you for you to be penniless and for you to never have a love of your own. Somebody a hater. Mm -hmm. But they sad about an ending, though, you know, because whatever they was trying to create for you, you know, they, they was throwing rocks at a glass house. We see right through that shit right here at Tori and Goddess. We see right through it, period, point blank. They going to be sad about this betrayal, too, because they betrayed you is what I just heard. They betrayed you in the worst way. They did. Your angel saw it. They heard it. And they not on it. They saw it. They heard it. And they not on it. Period. Point blank. Hmm. Divine intervention is going on right now. So, I'm feeling like they about to be... What I feel, they wanted you to be left in ruins. It's about to be a trickling effect. They wanted you to be broken, disgusted, single and bitter. 
And you know what? Your satisfaction is guaranteed. And your G's saying this Scorpio is of the least importance in your life right now. So you may be on the outs with this family member, right? On the mother's on your mother's side of the family. They're a little timid. They don't even want to speak to you, right? They know that there are some consequences. They can't even look at you is what I heard. The G says, stay prayed up. Stay prayed up because that's what you've been doing. You've been staying prayed up. They went the wrong way. Mm, they went the wrong way. They did. They went the wrong way. And that way that they went was creating all of these illusions to make you think that you weren't who you are and who you are are a child of most high. I heard you are very talented. This is what I'm hearing. A very talented divine feminine, divine masculine, gifted. You have a vision that's been blocked. Ears that's been clogged. All is well, though. Take that next step. It's a yes. Step out on faith is what the G's said. They can't block you anymore. This person can be an astrologist. This person deals with people um, from all walks of life. Somebody fighting for love right now, too. It's not really that bad. What you're doing is you're paying attention to how this Scorpio may have been manipulating your cause. Your cause was to walk a chalk line, right? And and what I'm drawn to is this love who wasn't your own. They prayed against that. They prayed against your money, too. They prayed against your money. Um... This Scorpio, they about to be stuck in this five of pentacles. They are. They about to be stuck in this five of pentacles for playing games and juggling your energy. I heard they may have some money that's yours, too. Oh, yeah, they got some money that's yours, this Scorpio. This Scorpio has stolen some money from you. That's probably where this living room and this new furniture and this TV came from. And, you know, that's where they sit and they have round tables about you. They sit and they discuss how they can create this fog, right? It's a smoke screen. It's a smoke screen surrounding some present prosperity that's yours. That's yours. Oh, somebody is living foul out here. Filed in a mug. Then this person is on your mother's side of the family, is what the G said. And they're also a lesbian or a homosexual, so you may pick up on that. The G's want you to stay confident, too, because your angels are all around you, front, back, and side to side. Your ancestors not playing no games with them, period, point blank. They help. And they are near. Your ancestors love you, right? These financial rewards that most definitely are yours could be some type of inheritance. Somebody may have left you some money, taxes or something. Yeah. This secret about to come out too, right? Because they sabotage your love life for one. Um... You may have been trying to figure out where you was going to get your next meal, how you was going to put gas in your car, pay your rent, light bill due. And they just sat up and they would, they, they sat up and they knew that you were in need, knew that you were in need. F what it was you was wanting. They knew that you were in need and they were not supporting you. With your money is what the Jesus just said. With your money. And this this Tina and Rick type of love that you had, this Tina Marie and Rick James love, this fire and desire, good love that was worth exploring, 
They created a bunch of confusion around surrounding this love life. They never wanted you. I just heard never wanted you from dating stages from when you from the first time you started dating, maybe in your teens, your early 20s, you had a you had a a divine love, you know, preparatory stages, regardless of the fact they stuck their hands in that. This person is dark. I heard this person wishes your life to be fucked up and damn since you was in the womb. They always wanted something from you. Your light. Your light. That's what they wanted. You may have had a fear of moving forward from this person too, right? You had a fear of moving forward in life, period. They created a lot of stagnant energy, right? This person set up all by their lonesome is what I heard. And they would pray on you, pray against you. Mm -hmm. This person and your cousin is what I just seen right here. This person and your cousin. You could be estranged from these family members. You could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Or you could be a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Either way it go, the jig is up. Your G said playtime, 11.44 on the clock. You were chosen when they wasn't supposed to never wish a hair on your hair to fall, a hair on your head to fall out. They haven't paid attention to anything, right? Anything. They put you in a slut vibe um, light. You know what I'm saying? That limelight. Telling people that you was out here being a child of a slut and a hussy, and you were not, is what I just heard. Telling folks you had too many options. You may have moved away, right? You may have moved away, 1223 on the clock. You may have moved away because you paid attention to how phony and fake this mother side of your family was. Con artist energy. Like want to smile in your face and then ing, 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 stab you in your back. What part of the game is that? What part of the game is that? Again, the G said all is well, though. Whatever it is you thinking about doing, take that next step. It's a yes. You can step out on faith. Period. Point. Blank. You may have one of your ancestors, if not a handful of them, who fall up on the water signs as well. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Don't have to be, though, right? But your granny saw it and heard it. Even your neighbor, your neighbor saw it and heard it. And what they failed to realize is that your father, I see daddy, your father, you got good rankings up there, right? It's been a power struggle going on, too, with this mother's side of the family. A Leo... Aries or Sagittarius can be involved as well. They butt hurt. They butt hurt about you coming into annoying of yourself, about this emotional and spiritual maturity that you have. Mm -hmm. The G says you taking steps, you on a path of increase, making shit happen. If you have yet to fall in love, I see that happening. I see love surrounding you. I see loving kindness surrounding you, not just from your angels and your ancestors, but you got a great love coming towards you. The G says you passed the test, whatever test it was, and I feel as though it was all sorts of spiritual lessons and spiritual attacks everywhere. And you kicked butt. You kicked butt is what the G said. You took a class. You fed your mind. You exercised that muscle. <laughs> you exercised your mind. Not only that, you formed, you you formed and developed and developed um, a spiritual connection with your spiritual team. 
Um, you tapped into your intuition. You recognized the beauty. You started, you started stopping and smelling the roses and paying attention to nature and grounding yourself is what I heard. I hear that you're a very, very, very included when it comes to your angels and your ancestors. They pay attention to you. They're not paying attention to the Scorpio, though. They're not paying attention to the Scorpio. Mm -mm. You don't need to have no worries. None. Problems are lifting. This Scorpio may have contracted a disease, but this disease I hear is evil. They also may have some illness going on as well. They got this lesbian or homosexual behavior that's hidden as well. So we're just going to take that where it resonates, right? We're going to take it where it resonates. So they, they're linked with a con artist energy, another woman. So this can be a woman, Scorpio. This con artist energy could be um, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. They've been in love for a while. Oh. So these some dark magic want to be charmed ass heifers is what the G's just said. Mm-hmm. They got that eye right. They're smart as well. And what they do is they conjure up these evil entities and these, these demonic ass spirits to gain um to gain clarity and to have a clear view into other folks' lives. They tamper with birth charts, you know what I'm saying? They they transmute positive energy into negative energy. They've been praying against you for an awful, awful long time is what the G said. But again, the jig is up. The jig is up. Wow. You know, and in these days, in 2022, a year of reinvention and a, and a, a year of getting these blessings, you understand. <laughs> they still ain't paid attention that they better leave you alone. But they about to pay attention now because they're going to be paying attention to money. This con artist energy, though, they've been paying attention to you as well. For a while, you know, they was the head person in charge, right? They was the ones who picked on you. I see a koala bear face. I do. I see a koala bear face. But I, I also see that this person is pulling back. They pulling back just a little bit though, right? They getting scared. Because your ancestors and your angels is on that ass. And look at what that's saying. Attempted black magic that failed. It's returning to them. Most I don't like ugly. You have a whole slew of family members on your mother's side who practice dark magic. And all of them about to be paying attention to money because all of these heifer hoes, and yes, I said it like that, of these nigga men been playing with you for quite a long time. This this fire energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, your actions have been speaking real, right? They see you done changed up your energy. And they see how powerful you are and it's making them sad. Mm. So this fire energy, they're married. They're married and that Tina and Rick James love, it ain't worth exploring no more. They're not on the right path, you see, because their husband or their wife, stepping out, stepping out, same sex. Ooh, that's what the G said. That's what they said. They stuck right now. The whole kid and caboodle. They stuck right now. And you know what's going to leave them butt hurt and mind blown? Is that boss up. That boss up that you about to experience. You're already spiritually blessed is what I said. Your crown, it shows. That light around you, it shows. These people, 
They never wanted you to have any money. They didn't want you to be married. Um, they didn't want you to have a fulfilling, loving relationship. Not just, you know, of the romantic kind, but they didn't want you to feel love outside of the family. And and, and I just heard that they, they never showed you too much love. If they did, it was a smack in the face. It was a smack in the face. I don't understand how people are born into families and and hate one another. You hate you, you you hate your family so much that you want to practice dark magic on them. They didn't beat you down for an awful long time, is what the G said. Awful long time, but you know they they've been they've been hiding something from you, money, and you know what else they've been blocking? They've been blocking you know. These family members could always told you that you wasn't going to be worth nothing. You'll never have this. You'll never have that. And, you know, you, they created so much doubt that you started to believe it. You started to believe it. You're hip to yourself now, though, right? Yes, you are. You know that you are a child of the most high and that what he promised you, you can have. Mm -hmm, what he promised you, he could have. Mm, I said what well, he promised you he could have. So, somebody was out here dipping their toes in Lake Minnetonka and drinking and drugging and screwing everything and then some. That had stopped, right? Their cavalry was blocked from them. Their cavalry was blocked from them, but that was through the help of this Scorpio energy. Something happened on Thanksgiving too, right? I had a message that said your G's are or your ancestors are rerouting you. That food was full of dark magic. I heard they can't cook. I heard they can't cook but the family eats, you know, just to be nice and look what's on the bottom of that day. They don't pray to who we pray to. They don't believe that their prayers will be answered, right? Charmed ones. Charmed ones is what I heard. Yeah. Wiccan. Dark magic. Astrology. Trying to tap in. To every goddamn go on astrological astrological chart that they can get their hands on. Hey y'all, don't get nobody y'all date of birth and time of birth. If you don't trust them, don't do it. That's what I just heard. Don't do it. What else, y'all? It is just ridiculous though, is what I I'm, I I say. There's some child, young man. It's a young man. What's going on with this young man? This young man could have just came from a doctor's appointment or some hospital stay. This young man was sick. I don't feel as though this young man, because you see this man, this young man here has on a backpack, but it came out reversed. They could be a little older than that, right? This is his father. His father is portrayed to be a low life, and he's not, is what I just heard. Could be his stepfather as well. Y'all take it where it resonates. But something was taking too long to be illuminated concerning this woman. This woman is a part of that mother's side of the family. This can be that Scorpio or this can be another energy. <clears throat> they are all karmics accepting that young man 
A young man is a chosen one. Yeah, that young man is a chosen one. Hmm. So somebody is going through some addictions right now. It's being found out. Somebody is in a queen of swords energy. Just sitting back. Nose all turned up in the air. But it's a it's a testament, right? Somebody about to be lonely. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. They're about to be lonely and they may have been already exiled from the family because of something that they do, their trade or their skill. Or that could be this Virgo Capricorn Taurus energy who is very skilled. This is the person who, this may be the person, God darn it, who everybody about to be butthurt about. Because I just heard everybody about to know their name. Period. Everybody about to know their name. Ouch. Ace in the hole, right? Young water energy. The youngin. This person is a part of this mother's side of the family as well. There's a dark-haired Gemini, Aquarius, a Libra, who is about to be exiled from the family. The G's want you to use precaution dealing with this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. I'm feeling like it's a masculine. Yeah. They may be having a quiet night at home, Netflix and chilling with their significant other. Let's see what's going on with this Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Be a male or a female, y'all. Y'all take it where it resonates, or it can be two. It can be a male and a female. You understand what I'm saying? Hmm. So, while, while this cooking was going on, right? Possible Thanksgiving. I don't feel as though these energies are a part of this dark magic, right? They're being recruited, though. Pay attention to the people coming into your life, is what the G's said. They're being sent. Statuesque and tall, all legs. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. is against a petite, small, light caramel. But there's also some messages from your ancestors that's kind of fuzzy. They say, hello, we love you. We want you to listen. Listen about this mother's side of the family, 28, 15 on the clock. Death. So, something has been let go. Something and someone. Someone is falling to the wayside. If not the whole family, I see shedding skin, doing away with people, places, and things that no longer serve you. This Scorpio, on a new chapter in their life, they're a sex fiend. Mm-hmm, a sex thing. But this is this is some shit that they they always infamous for, right? And they always want what somebody else got. That's that's where the destruction come in at, right? They are addicted to someone or something, and with this emperor reverse, it is a man who is ailing. 
this man to be a fire sign, Aries, very immature, karmic ass Negro, is what the G said. Bringing confusion and obstruction to the flow, to the flow of everything. Um, he and his I ain't shit energy, period. This person bought the dip set on this Scorpio. They moving. They want to be friendly and passionate somewhere else. They didn't switch up their energy. They're inspired to take flight. Period. Point blank. They inspired to take flight, y'all. So just how this karmic Scorpio on your mother's side of the family didn't want you to have no money. Didn't want you to have a love of your own. Why they just bought this new living room furniture? This new furniture, this TV, possibly some appliances. That man don't want to sit up in, in, in that area, period. It's about to be an ending with this Three of Cups reverse energy. It was all about the sex. But, you know, it could have been a business opportunity. It started out as a business opportunity, maybe, right? It was celebrating, too. Going places. Could have been a business opportunity, how it started, how it began, or a friendship. But it was written in the stars. It was meant for them to cross one another's path. It was some sort of achievement, too, for the Scorpio. Like, ooh. A man, I got a man. That was the cure for their boredom. That was the cure for them being so lonely, is what the G's just said. That was their achievement. Collabing, you know, leaving this independent lifestyle, this solo dolo lifestyle that they were stuck in, is what the G said. But with this ten of swords, they about to be in effing pain, period. Those wounds that you know. That you know so deeply that they help to create through this dark magic, through this negative intent, through them putting all their energy into making sure that your life be fucked up and damn. They about to be in tears. They about to be stuck in this Ten of Swords energy and stuck in this Five of Pentacles energy. This Scorpio on your mother's side of the family sitting up in this new living room. Mm -hmm. They about to experience some loss out of betrayal. Could be through their friend, right? With this wheel of fortune, though, that wheel spinning, that wheel spinning, that wheel is spinning while you leveling up. They twist the luck is gonna be them downwardly spiraling out of control. You didn't have some ups and downs in your abundance, right? Your destiny. You felt as though you weren't on your right path. Pucker up, buttercup, because someone from your past loves you that you don't know, and they about to make themselves known. Fire energy. Could be someone from your past, right? Fate about to take its course. Mm -hmm. And with this six of swords and this ten of wands, this transition that you made throughout all this loss that you experienced, you know, through the hands of these karmic family members on the mother's side of your family, you know, you've had to regroup out of this oppression. God damn it. It was like you, you, you went through some sort of rites of passage, but you had to release. You had to release these family members one by one or if not as a whole. Somebody took a trip. Somebody took a trip. And that trip was right on, led you right on into your spirit. Spiritual connections with your heavenly team. God dang it. Period. Point blank. You got good fortune coming. It's a lawsuit coming too. Because like I said. Somebody owe you some money. That was your message. See you.